Hello everyone, I am Big Chen from IHE Delft. In this video, I will introduce you the components of Apple database. VAPO database has three levels relating to the spatial resolution. Level 1, Continental, has spatial resolution of 250 meters and covers the whole Africa continent and Near East area. Level 2, National, has spatial resolution of 100 meters and available for only some countries, as you can see on the map and in the list here. Level 3, Subnational, has spatial resolution of 30 meters and available for only a few selected pilot areas, focusing on irrigation schemes. As you can see on the map, the area available at level 3 is very small compared to level 1 and 2. The climate data components include precipitation and reference evapotranspiration. These components are available at different temporal resolutions, daily, decadal, monthly, and annual. Even those available at level 1, the spatial resolution are different than 250 meters. To be specific, precipitation has resolution of 5 kilometers and reference evapotranspiration of about 20 kilometers. The water data components include evaporation, transpiration, interception, and the sum of these three. These components are available at all three levels with decadal and annual temporal resolution. In addition, monthly actual evapotranspiration and interception is also available. The land data components include net primary production, total biomass production, land cover classification, and phenology. Decadal net primary production is available at all three levels. Total biomass production is available annually at level 1 and seasonally at level 2 and 3. Similarly, phenology is available seasonally at level 2 and 3. Land cover classification is available annually at level 1 and 2. In addition, for some areas, decadal land cover classification with information on the crop types is available, for example, Beka in Lebanon and Koga in Ethiopia. The water productivity component is computed from biomass production and water data components. These are available annually at level 1 and seasonally at level 2. For level 3, if land cover classification with crop type information is provided, users can compute crop water productivity from harvest index and water content of the crop type. Some ancillary data are also provided which gives an indication of the quality of the NDVI and the land surface temperature input data. The NDVI quality shows whether a valid observation was available for that decade, and if not, uh, the length of the data gap with the nearest valid observation. The land surface temperature quality shows the time between the date of the data file and the earlier remote sensing observation on which the data is based on.